one of the most important parts of class A RV ownership is what are you gonna drive when you get where you're going? Are you gonna rent a car? Are you gonna take Ubers? Are you gonna tow a vehicle? Are you gonna flat tow a vehicle? There's a lot of different ways to do it, but in today's video, I wanna tell you how I'm gonna do it. I actually just bought a new vehicle to flat tow behind my Tiffin Phaeton. want to tell you uh, why I ended up buying the car that I did, how I'm going to flat tow it. Now, I was actually told by a lot of people that you're not supposed to flat tow this car. So I'm kind of going against the grain here a little bit. So let me know in the comments if you think I'm crazy. I'm going to try it and I'm going to film it and you guys are going to be able to see how this works out for me. This is a 2017 Volkswagen Jetta and uh, this does have the six speed manual transmission it's got the gli uh, trim level i think i might have watched too many episodes of the fast and the furious and it's a pretty cool car what do you guys think it's got the black with the red stitching and the cool pattern on the seats i'm pretty stoked but the uh coolest part about this car is it's a manual transmission. So that's why you're supposed to be able to flat tow it, I guess, because it's a manual transmission. Put the base plate on there. Uh, a lot of people don't recommend it, but we'll see. Okay, guys, the first thing I'm gonna do is put on gloves. Your hands are gonna get really dirty. There's a lot of road grime on all this stuff. Let's get to it. The safety cable is going to be the wiring here for my lights. I've got these two pins that I'm going to use to connect the tow bar here. I have everything hooked up now. Now I need to make sure all the lights are working, but I've got to prepare the tow vehicle first. So. I'm gonna disconnect the battery after I engage the key and then just leave it in neutral. As long as the steering wheel is loose, I should be good. So I'm crossing my fingers. This is not for educational purposes. Do not try this at home. Here goes nothing. I could really damage this car, but I'm taking a risk. I'm gonna leave it in neutral. I'm gonna just press the start button so that the steering wheel is loose. The steering wheel is loose right now. I'm gonna disconnect the battery while it's in this position. And see what happens. All right, it's disconnected. I'm gonna see if the steering wheel is still loose. Steering wheel is still loose. I'm gonna take off the e-brake here. See the uh, tow bars are all hooked on. I'm gonna go make sure the lights on the motorhome work. I'm I'm really nervous right now. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Hopefully this works. Let's go see if the lights are working on the car. It doesn't look like they are, but let's check. If this doesn't work. I've got another plan with the lighting, but let's see. No lights, so I'm hoping it's just the cord, but I'm gonna just tow it anyway around the block. I'll leave this little area here, so we'll see. Hopefully I don't mess up the car here. Hey guys, here goes nothing. Car is behind me, the lights don't work, so I'm just gonna stay real close by here. And... Okay. 
pulling it no problem i wish i knew if it was just rolling freely or what the deal was but i guess i just got to roll with it so if these lights don't work i'm going to go back to plan b and i'm going to use these lights i got from harbor freight or maybe i got them from home depot something like that but that Volkswagen's still back there behind me, so that's good. I can see it in my rear view mirrors. I'm so nervous right now that I didn't just smoke this car, and I have liability only insurance on that car, so this is all on me, guys. And then over a pretty good sized bump there, so that should have put it to the test at least as far as like going over a pretty good sized bump. It's stopping and everything okay, but I just gotta get the lighting figured out and I've got a plan for that. I'm told that when I try to start this car, the dash is gonna light up like a Christmas tree, so I'm just gonna try to start it right now. Oh yeah. Stabilization control, tire pressure, steering wheel. It just says park, I didn't, I didn't even know I had park mode. So let me unhook this all and uh, see if this car is still working. Now is the moment when I'm gonna know whether this works or not, because if my car still drives, I'm good to go. If my car doesn't drive, this may be really expensive. So crossing my fingers, I know it started. Still has all kinds of fun lights. Power steering works. And we are uh, rolling in Oregon. We did make it up here safely, but I did do a little bit of damage to my vehicle. I'm gonna pull over real quick and show you the little bit of damage that I did do and tell you how it happened. But before I do that, let's go back to Arizona. Well guys, it looks like my car is still working. Lights seem to have shut off. Even though I was told I'm not supposed to do this, now I wouldn't advise this because there's a lot of extra steps like disconnecting the battery. It is go time. I had to make a couple adjustments. I got a six inch drop here for my receiver so that everything is level. And then the wiring I couldn't figure out. So I got these. My four way hazards are, are blinking, blinking on the coach. It is go time. Here's what happened. I had to set up those that second set of tow lights and I ran it through the hood. And this is kind of a user error, but what happened is, is the hood was open and I set something right here, right next to this wiper arm here. And you can see my windshield crack. So that is the damage that was done. I've got a cracked windshield. I'm gonna have to pay for a new windshield. So what happened was, I set something in here, I got in the car, turned the car on, and for whatever reason, the windshield wipers turned on. The force from the arm caused the little piece to crack the windshield there. So, but look how beautiful it is out here in Oregon. I'm out here with my Sadie lady, and if that's the biggest problem we got, we're doing pretty good. appreciate all of you that are liking these videos and subscribing to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again.